Hi everyone. I uh, I want to talk about the 1992 Russian movie uh, The Czechist. And I I just watched it last night and it resulted in me not getting much sleep. Um yeah, which which is kind of the intention of the movie, I guess. I mean, not not because it's a long movie, it isn't. It's just that after having watched it, I was uh, uh, I, I was so disturbed by it that that I I couldn't sleep. Which, um, to be honest, doesn't happen often. I mean, I I don't think it ever happened to me. Like I said, I watched uh, I watched Alien when I was four years old, you know, and and I loved it. <laughs> so uh, I I love horror movies. Uh, so uh, they, they they don't disturb me. But this is not a horror movie. It's a uh, it's kind of it's it's more like Schindler's List. Um, yeah, but but it came out before Schindler's List. And um, it came out pretty much uh, at, at, the, at the only time that it could have come out. Because, of course, earlier, it, you know, in, in the Soviet Union, they, they, they couldn't, couldn't have possibly made a movie like that. And nowadays, like, you know, like Anna Putin, uh, they, they can't make a movie like that either. Uh, so, 1992 was pretty much the only time that they even could make a movie like that, and they took the opportunity and made a great movie. But it's it's really what is also what what is well the movie itself is sad. But another thing that is sad is that uh, yeah, well, not many people have watched this movie, and that's because of course nowadays it doesn't have a distributor anymore because. You know, nowadays in Russia, nobody would dare to distribute a movie like that again. So it's uh, uh, it it th this movie would have deserved a, a bigger audience, and and it never got a bigger audience. So I highly recommend this movie, uh, but it's not uh, you know it's not one of those happy movies you know that make you all warm and fussy inside. You know, uh, it's it's an extremely depressing movie. It's probably the, the most depressing movie I've I've ever seen. Uh, and um, I, I maybe maybe some maybe some people will complain that I compared it to Schindler's List, but I I, I think it's a good comparison actually. You know, it's uh, well of course uh, Schindler's List is about the Holocaust, and this movie is about. Uh, well, it's about the uh, uh, um, the Cheka, uh, the the Cheka, uh, which is the uh, uh, secret police in in the Soviet Union uh, that uh, Lenin established, and uh, yeah, they uh, they did some not so nice things. Um, yeah, but they. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they, well, um, they actually uh, uh, persecuted Jews as well, but of, of course they didn't only persecute Jews, they, they, they were kind of indiscriminate in that they persecuted pretty much everybody who, who just maybe voiced a tiny little bit of uh, discontent or just, you know, just, well, it, it, it was... You, you you see in this movie that it's pretty arbitrary. I mean, it or it can be pretty arbitrary. You know, people can never be entirely sure. You know, um, can, ne nobody nobody really can feel safe, which is kind of the point. You know, the whole point of of, of having a secret uh, a police like that is uh, 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 to intimidate people. So that they don't dare even voice a tiny bit of uh, 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 criticism, you know. Uh, it's it's to uh, it's to scare people into obedience. Uh, that's the entire point. Uh, uh, so no one no one can feel safe.
but it's it's very much not like Schindler's List in that Schindler's List is a Hollywood movie and this really is not a Hollywood movie at at all. Um and 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 the storytelling is uh is pretty pretty in- unconventional. Actually there isn't much of a story. I mean most of the movie uh it, well, it's it's extremely repetitive, which is kind of the point. Uh, so it does it doesn't even have much of a story, you know. Most of the movie is just um, the uh, the checker uh, rounding up people, um, imprisoning them, giving them literally a ten second trial. Um, I wonder why they even bother with with that. I mean. Uh, everyone is always guilty anyway, so they, they wouldn't even need a 10 second trial either. But, well, at least they get, they do get a trial, which is, which lasts 10 seconds and everyone is always guilty. Um, yeah, and, uh, and then they get shot. And, uh, yeah, and, and, and that's the entire movie. It, only that this sequence repeats itself like, I don't know, 20 times, you know, it, you know, it's, that's the entire movie. The checker, rounding up people, imprisoning them, giving them a 10 second trial, taking them out of their cell, making them unstrip, uh, uh, making them face uh, a wall and shooting them. And then the bodies are carried out uh, with some kind of, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's almost industrialized, you know. <laughs> Uh, uh, they have, um, well, you see in the movie, well, anyway, they, they get, uh, carried out, uh, and, and, and taken on, on, onto trucks and then the bodies get, uh, uh, driven away. And that's the entire movie. And that's pretty much the only thing that happens in the movie. And this sequence, you know, just repeats itself over and over again, you know, with different people getting killed. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much the movie. And uh if if you if you if you if you have to watch this um you know the entire time you know and 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 this sequence of events you know just uh repeating itself endlessly you slowly go mad which is exactly what um what happens to the uh uh to the commander uh, um of of the uh, checker in this movie, you know, but because of this, uh, he he slowly goes mad, and you and you slowly go mad with him, uh, ha- having to watch what he watches, and yeah, and and at the end of the movie, you can kind of uh, you can kind of relate to him being being driven insane by all that, and that's pretty much the entire movie, and. Uh, but you know, me talking about this, you know, it does 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 nothing. Doesn't do it justice at all. You know, you, you really, it's you know, if if you just talk about it, you know, you have to see it. You know, you have to really experience this movie to really understand it. And it's, yeah, it's it's just a, it's it, it's it's horrifying. You know, um, yeah, and and it just. Uh, uh, it, it just leaves you with that sense of uh, uh, hopelessness, you know. Um, in, in Schindler's List, you, you had, you know, in, uh, at least you had a good guy, you know. You had Oskar Schindler, who, who was pretty much saving them all. But in this movie, it's just, this movie is just conveys a sense of hopelessness. And uh, it's, it's just extremely depressing. But, uh, uh, yeah, it is a... It, that is the point, you know. That is that is the point, and as such, it is a it is an incredible movie, and and I really uh, 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 recommend you to to watch it. Um, one last thing is that uh, uh, this movie, because because nowadays um, because of Putin, you know, in Putin clarifying the Soviet Union again, uh, it, so. Um, there is no distributor for this movie uh, anymore, so um, there is uh, there is no. I, 
I don't. There is no official release of this movie, and because of that, there well, there are there are subtitles for this movie, but they're all like you know just like I don't know like like uh, fan made so to say, um, and they're really bad. The subtitles are oh. You know, they're, they're, all, they're almost as much an atrocity as, as the atrocities that the movie portrays, you know. Oh, dear. Um, but, you know, I mean, like I said, this movie this movie doesn't have that much dialogue. It, it doesn't have that much story. And uh, uh, the, bit of, the bit of dialogue and the bit of story that it does have, you can, you can easily understand even without the subtitles. I mean... You kind of know what is going on and you kind of have to if you want to understand this movie even with the subtitles because the subtitles are just so bad um, I, I first I've I tried to watch it with with the English subtitles I found uh, but they were horrendous and then then I then I found German subtitles for it so I I tried watching it with German subtitles and I thought, well, the Truman subtitles seem to be better until I realized that the Truman subtitles were just based on the English subtitles. So, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. On, on the same messed up English subtitles that uh, that I've watched previously. So, yeah, well, um, I mean, if, you, if you find good subtitles for this, let me know. I couldn't really find good subtitles. But uh, uh, still, this is, I, 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 I highly recommend this movie. This is a must watch. Uh, yeah.